Let the hawk patch. Let the eagle patch. And anyone who says the other should not patch, let his wing break. Let mourning take away the evil. And let peace continue to gain dominance. Protect us. Protect this land from evil. Guide and... No! 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 Mother, you have been our protector from ages past. Do not let our enemies gloat at us. Save us from this evil state in our land. Oh, great mother, please. Okay, okay, just try a little more, then you can come and rest, eh? Okay, Papa. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. They are not harmful. They are not harmful. They don't want. Come, come, come. Fast before the race starts. Get him for me. Hold this for me. Hold this for me. I'm coming. 
Let me get him for you. Messenger of Agajelu, what news demands my hearing? How? What must I do to avert this? Talk to me, Great Mother. Daughter of Agajelu. Your job has been completed, faithful servant of Ogidi. No. This is not our agreement. You deceived me. Great mother Agajelu, please. I know you can hear me. My eyes have known no sleep for a year now. Today makes it five years of my marriage with childlessness. I have done countless sacrifices. Please, my dear mother, hearken to the voice of your child and save me from this humiliation of barrenness. Be not afraid, ye child of destiny. You have bewailed enough, and I have come to give comfort to your sorrow. But, but, but who are you? I am Ugidi, the infallible deity of ages. You, you, you wicked deity. What do you want? Everybody knows your wickedness. So what do you want from the daughter of Adyajelo? 
What has your so-called acclaim God has given to you for the past five years in marriage, if not sorrows? I will continue praying to her until she blesses me with a, a, a child very soon. <laughs> your voice seems not to agree with your heart. Wise up, young woman. Your husband is already tired of the marriage and soon he will throw you out like chaff. You are destined to remain barren until you die. But I can put an end to your linger so if you But, but you... Think. Let your brain speak for you. So what do I do? What do I do to save my marriage? Please tell me. That's the egg of procreation. Swallow it and you shall conceive tonight. Not so fast, young woman. For every favor, there is a prize. Oh, I wanted to ask, to what do I own this benevolence? Your soul, ten years after the child's birth. But why my soul? It is the only thing of worth every human possess. Or would you rather live the next 60 years of life with no child? Consider the chain, the unceasing humiliation and mortification that sharpens such decision. Just your soul. You were told what you needed to hear and not what must be done. She cannot be allowed to enjoy the warm cuddle of her earthly mother or suckle her breast. She has a great destiny ahead. Take her away. Let's go.
I saw his cause he was eating up. <laughs> what happened to her? Here she comes, evil in the land. Great priestess of Akadjara. What evil has besieged our land? This evil must not be allowed to exist in this land. The child must die. <laughs> <laughs> Lala, see how beautiful she is? No, with all due respect, priestess, I do not agree with you on this one. The words of the priestess of Agajelu are not hers but that of the great mother. How can she ask to sacrifice the life of a child that just arrived this kingdom with no blemish or sin a child that lost both parents on arrival a helpless orphan she is a looming danger your highness i will advise that you do not let sentiments be cloud your wisdom or sense of reasoning as a king my brother ndoka suffered five years of childless marriage and today he's blessed with a child cursed not blessed Whichever way you put it, my brother Ndoka and his wife are dead in the course of betting this child. And that is an abysmal sign. I told you of a vision that I saw two years ago. That same vision was shown to me this morning. The evil deity that was defeated by our great mother has somehow found a way into this land through the help of a desperate, barren woman. Your priestess. If the stories that we're told about the deity are true, that means our lives are in danger. Exactly. That is why we must do as instructed. In as much as I am perturbed over your revelations, I still think it's unfair and very unjust that my brother and his wife will depart this life with no offspring. My brother has always wished to have lots of children as a child, but fate never allowed it so. Why should you want to kill the only one he has? Igwe Udoka. No sane king disagrees with his creator's verdict. Then let it go down in the annals of history of this kingdom. That I, Igwe Udoka, this day disagree with the decision of our great mother. You blaspheme, your highness. You blaspheme, I must remind you. But Igwe, look, you can listen and... and Don't but me, woman. Don't. Igwe. You will open and go Kenya Jamali if you're so. Eh? I will suggest you approach this with caution for us not to incur the wrath of the gods. Igwe. Okay, I don't know. You are more than one of them. Your Highness, I advise we listen to what the priestess is saying. After all, our great mother Agajelu's wisdom transcends that of mere mortals. Igwe. Caution. Igwe. Igwe, edu go na na go chi onoro go wa, nyo bo ya na ni. Go see is the eyes of the gods. Let us listen to her and do away with the child. All right, all right. I have heard you all. How about sparing the life of the child and sending her far away from this kingdom? My brother Andoka and his wife will be happy in the land of the dead, knowing that the only offspring they had lives. He that must grow big tits 
must be ready and prepared to grow big lips to cover them. The sin of the tongue is one thing that kills the flippant one. Caution, Igwe Udoka. Caution, I see. But you see, sending the child far away from this kingdom is just the same thing as doing away with the child. What woman? What? Please let me get some rest. It's late. Dear mama, I need you to reconsider your decision over this girl. For years now we've had peace. This singular decision of yours might bring plague and destruction on our people. What is so hard in understanding this? Our great mother demands that we do away with the child. And I say, let's take the child afar this kingdom. Is that not the same thing as doing away with the child? But the child would still be alive. And it's against our great mother's decisions. Our great mother's love and mercy has not gone so bad that she cannot spare the life of an innocent child. I said, let the child live. But Nani, it is wrong. I it's... What is wrong with you? Why has your heart gone so hard that you cannot spare the life of my niece? I have nothing against your niece. What if something, what if something terrible goes wrong? I mean... Please, help me spare the life of an innocent child who has done no harm to deserve death. <sighs> Where do you intend to take her to? Your sister and her husband stays at Agonpo. I suggest we take her there. My si <sighs> But it, it, it's it's it Agonkwa is very far from this kingdom. And I believe that your sister will take good care of her if you help me talk to her. But that would mean inconveniencing my sister and, and her husband. Do this for me. I am a king who is not supposed to beg for anything. Hmm. That is for your subjects. But for your queen. You need to beg. So, in this case, I should beg you? Uh -huh. Yes, you should beg. All right, I'm begging you. Please, do it for me. Got you full. <laughs>
brings the Queen Mother into the abode of the priestess of Agajelo. My heart is heavy and troubled. I doubt not as severe as mine. I couldn't sleep last night. You know my husband. You know how stubborn and obstinate he can be. And that will cost him a whole lot of regret, if not tamed. I tried to talk to him. I tried, but he wouldn't listen. Please tell me, my priestess, just tell me, how do I get rid of that evil child? Sh should I send the guards to secretly steal her away and get her killed? No! She must be sacrificed officially to Aga Jelu. But that won't be a secret anymore. Everyone would get to know. That is why you have to talk to your husband to change his mind against this irreplaceable mistake. I asked you to watch. You are even packing them inside. It was when I wanted to put it here, the thing all fell down. And you are even packing it with sand, eh? Mm. So if I had not seen you now, you would have given me and my husband sand to eat. Wicked girl, you want me to cook? Instead of bitter leaves, you do not talk to sand bitter leaf. Stupid girl.
mama ezine navye bube thank you great mother Merciful mother, your daughters are here before you to dedicate their children. Leave the priestess of all the greatest of the deities. Who are you people? Eh? Who, who, who are you people? We are your humble servants who crave your ascension to the mighty steel of power. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Please go! Go, leave me alone! I don't want your stool. Just go with me. Go. My child, are you all right? Why are you on the ground screaming to yourself? Uh, um, I, some, some, something entered my ear. It seems you are going to the street. Yes. Then let's go. You will help me in washing my apacha.
Mama, please help me. Nyelumaka. Ujuka! What took you so long at this train? Mama, there were plenty of people at this train today. Plenty of people. It's you. Liar! Look at her! It's obvious you've been chatting and playing their sense. Hey! Mama! Ezioku! Ezioku Nine! I was not playing. Ujuka! You kept me so long in the kitchen. While well, I told you I want to hurry up with the cooking and attend the women's meeting. Ujuka, you have started again. You have started oh! Please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. Who is your mother? Ujuka, who told you I'm your mother? God forbid! Your parents died the moment you were born. You bad luck of a child. Ujuka, Machala you know now. Better behave yourself. Because one of these days you're going to get it hot from me. Better drop that water yourself and get into the kitchen and finish the cooking. Nonsense and no fear. Mother, your child beseeches you this morning to show my appreciation for life, protection, love, guidance, healing, and your unflinching support to our land all these years. Mother, the vision returns. Please, Mother, 
take away this seed of destruction from our land. Please. My, my daughter, daughter. My, my lord of child, child. Why, why were you here? You, you have, have fulfilled, fulfilled your destiny. destiny. Who, who are you? Who are you? Who is talking to me? Who are you? It is, it is time, time to depart. depart. To the land of the It is the time I will depart to the land of the Sinai to rule. It is the time I will depart to the land of the Sinai to rule. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Just show yourself. It is the time I will depart to the land of the Sinai to rule. I don't know who you are, so just go! It is the time I will depart to the land of the Sinai to rule. Ujuka! Ogin, why are you screaming? What is wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> and you can just scream at your will, and nothing is wrong with you. Mama, I'm sorry, Biko. Sorry. Hey! Chineke. Ogin, I can't see where you Eh? Ngemogo me bua nwa mujuka. Ow! To kwabiam. If only I have my own children. I would have sent you back to where you came from. Where is Igwe Udoka? Greetings. He is resting inside. Tell him I have an urgent message for him. Priestess of our great mother. What summons the termite out of its hole at a time like this? Your Highness, it has happened. What, what, what has happened? Anyone that goes against the verdict of the gods must be ready face the consequences that follow. History is on the verge of repeating itself. The child whom you set free lives and will fulfill her destiny of bringing plague into the slum. But the priestess, I thought we have gone past this. She now lives far, far away from this kingdom. Nothing, not even time, can stop predestined evil from happening. This would have been averted if you had allowed the wisdom of the throne you sit, guide you. I have come to inform you of impending danger that is to besiege this land. And 
I pray that our good God save us. Greetings. Greetings, Father. Greetings, Son. What danger is she talking about? Did she say the reason we've not had rainfall for the past one year? Welcome home, my beloved daughter. Oh, my heart rejoices. My patience is worthy after her. Come, be not afraid. Your worries, your doubts, your weaknesses and your fears, I absorb them all. Hey! Hey! Why has she not swept the compound? Ujuka! 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 Where are you coming from? Why have you not swept the compound? Are you not the one I'm talking to? Enough, Pudala! Ujuka! I'm talking to you. What? Of all the young girls in this kingdom, why me your only child? Why should I be chosen to become the new priestess of Agajelu? My daughter, the choice of who becomes the new priestess is not with man. It is with the gods. And the great mother has made the choice. Who are we to question her decision? But why me? I'm not even strong enough to fit into the position of a priestess. I believe in the wisdom of the Great Mother. 
I mean, this explains the series of uh, nightmares you have been having recently. My dear, you don't have to be afraid. Every gift that comes from the gods is always a blessing. Please have an open heart. Oh? To be afraid, my dear. Papa, I can't do this, please. No, let's go, let's go. But I can't do this. I said, let's go. is of essence and you know that youth has already fleeted of me and my life's pine is at the brink you must bring her to the great river for seven days of cleansing and fortification i will try i will try my best i will do i will do my you best. must bring her for the sake of this kingdom Let us kill this child, your highness. Lots of lives will be wasted if this vision comes to pass. I have never been this scared all my life. The future will be bleak if this child lives. Priestess, you sound as if I will see danger coming and allow it to consume my people. Please help me spare this innocent child's life. I can assure you she will never be allowed into this kingdom. I will talk to my sister-in-law on that. Igwe, I have never seen the priestess this scared before. Please, let's not do something that we'll regret for the rest of our lives. Woman, you have started again. Let me ask you. If she were to be your niece, would you be sitting here advocating for her execution? Huh? I thought as much. Your Highness. Your Highness, I come in peace. Who are you? I am Ujuka, the priestess and daughter of Ugiti, and the daughter of your late brother, who was taken away from this land years ago. She's back! Yeah. Somebody go and call Kosi. <laughs> there won't be any need for that. She has gone to the great bee. What? Hey. She's dead? Who's dead? She served a wicked god. You all served a heartless goddess. How dare you blaspheme with the name of our great mother? Who are you but an evil? I am Ujuka, the priestess of Ugidi, the bringer of rain. <laughs> And also a stiller of glory. Our great mother's benevolence remains unflinching.
Igwe, I say we may have been wrong. Trusting the new princess, Ujuka. Why do you say so? Huh. We all had things of evil perpetrated in the past by Ugidi. What's it, I can't be talking like this. The same Ugidi brought us rain. Now our crops are flourishing and we are doing well. Bountifully for that matter. <laughs> Caution. Caution, my elders. This could be another plot. Eh? To take us into another rim of trouble. Hey, Jaga. What are you talking about? Were you not the one that was visiting the palace almost all the time? Eh? Pestering me about food for your family. And now we are blessed with bounty rainfall by a god whom we so much despised. Doesn't that suggest a retrace of step? Uh, yes, my king. But oh, we... our emissaries arrive. Your Highness! Your Highness! Your Highness! Your Highness! Your Highness! Where, where are the others? And why the wound? Oh, fuck! What happened to you? Your Highness! Huh? Ogini? We, we went to... We went to... Amanabo Kingdom. Just as... We were instructed. But Igbo Menka and his people... Declined. To his with us, he ordered his men to behead us. Huh? Bomenka. Yes, Your Highness, which which they did. <laughs> Your Highness, I was just very lucky. They spared my life because he needed somebody, somebody to send a message to you, Your Highness. He even went as far as summoning all his warriors. For a battle against us. Very soon they will come fighting us. So Omenka has the guts to kill my envoy. Omenka, even when I decided to give him a piece of land that rightfully belongs to us, he still insists on claiming it all. Ose, Your Highness. Go and fetch the priestess and meet us by the border. Yes, Your Highness. Ikemba. Yes, Your Highness. Get ready. We are going to the border. I'm always ready, Your Highness. This is the boundary between us and Amanabo Kingdom. If there is going to be a war, this is where the battle will end. Because you have nothing to worry about. Ugidi, my great father, has promised to help us with this war. And he has also promised 
that he will make sure we come out of it victorious. So, go and worry no more. Father, I still insist we prepare ourselves for war. Uh -huh. The best form of defense is attack. There won't be any need for that. Like I said, my great father has promised to help us with this war and he has promised that we will come out of it victorious. I am not convinced. So I insist we prepare ourselves. Are you in any way doubting the potency of my great father's promise? I wasn't referring to you or anybody. I'm talking to my father. Enough, son. This kingdom has seen no war in ages. And I am not going to be in a hurry to score it. If the great father Ugidi can assure us that we have nothing to worry about, then we should all go home.
young man and all of you thought i was joking now what is happening you you, you have to see the way the prince was like eh? oh is it? and the other man was like puff puff i thought i was even frightened that this young man is going to uh, uh, and win the prince yeah, uh, he, even a judge case if he's walking he'll be doing like this as if he has power yeah. <laughs> i'm on no i don't i don't even know saw that air wait As we all know, we all are friends. Yes, we are friends. Yes. And, uh, and we know that the prince took him on our way. Yes. Took him on our way. Honor. The prince took Ojarike okay. on our way. Yes, Prince Ekena took him on our way. So because of that, we are going to share the calories yes. equal. Eh? Shut up. <laughs> share, share what? The, 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 if I were you, come on. That I will not give you. What's the word? I will not tell you. Give. What's your own? You can your money. This, uh, 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 that's the reason I don't want to bet for this thing. Kara, Ojo got that tomorrow. Nah, I have so I will not give to them. The time they were betting with me, I told them that this young man, the, the, the prince, is going to win that puff puff, and they said that he is not going to win. Yeah, I have so I now, so I will give them. I will give them something. Happen, yeah. Give me it's okay, it's okay. anything. Mm -mm. Please. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, bring the cowries yeah. first. Let me see. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Mama. Oh. Uh, That's the reason why I want to go for this best. Because mm. I know it. That was good. Okay. Hey. Hey, what's the lesson? It's complete. Never mind. I'm not going to carry on doing this. Your eyes is somehow. I'm afraid I'm going to carry on. I can't do it, yo. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Anugomu, Anugomu, ho, 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 Anugomu. Eh, if you know if I am not a man, and Dogan, if you're under the sun, you you be shining upon my shift. I see you well. Not tap on my name, Hanaba. Go, Masuria Naba. Come on, give me a minute. Only fine, Zonaba. Let's go. Don't mind it. I'm here. 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 I am not a kid. 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 I Let's go. Oh, a kid. I am not a kid. I am not a kid. I am not Stop! Oh, oh, look! Stop looking! Let's go! I'm moving on ya. My prince, I can't stop being proud of you. Your strength is indeed supernatural. I don't have supernatural power. 
All I have is a strong sense of confidence that engulfs me each time I'm faced with an opponent. And no matter how big my opponent is, I will try my bones on him. Today's wrestling bout will be the talk of the whole Anike Kingdom. People were so amazed and happy. That's how it should be. You are picking up, I must say, but you need to be careful. If he nearly defeated you today. My prince, if Edeli is a nobody, he's no match to me. He is still learning the trap tricks of wrestling. He cannot defeat me. Greetings, my prince. Greetings to the priestess of Ogidi. What demands the attention of the prince of Anneke Kingdom? Hope I'm safe. Of course you are. I just want to talk to you. <coughs> um, my prince, my stomach is empty. Let me just run home and get something to eat. All right, <coughs> I will see you this evening. Well, that was a wonderful display at the arena today. I must commend you. I never knew you were watching. <laughs> I was bored at the river. I decided to take a walk. And I was lucky to behold such a wonderful wrestling bout. Beautiful. Thank you. How about a princely visit to my abode? I'm sorry that won't be possible because I'm always busy. With what? Hey, stop. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Are you saying you don't want me? Priestess, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been having this feeling of affection for you since the day I met you. Affection? Yes. Pacify your anger. 
I hope so, Father. Oh, don't go okay. Aqua, your attire always impress me. You and the chief priestess must be getting along very, very well. It's an abomination for the priestess to be in any relationship. She is destined to be a virgin and mother of none. As a priestess of Agajelu, yes. But as a priestess of Ugidi, you don't expect the same thing of her. Don't forget, it is the same Abode River we are talking about. My prince, a change has happened. We no longer have Agajelu as our god. I know, but the office of a priestess it's sacrosanct to immorality or mere thought of it. Mm. Mm. Who said? You? You are supporting I go into a relationship with the priestess. Don't you know about Adora? Oh, Adora. She said nobody. Next time you do such unremarkable words against my woman, I will kill her. I am not interested in the priestess, and that's fine now. My prince! I do not intend to offend you. Indeed, your words are final. I'm sorry, my prince. So, are we not going for hunting this evening? I um, decided to come and find out the dream you had last night that made you wake up with a smile on your face. A smile on your face. <laughs> you want to know? Yes. I was dreaming about the first time I met you. Oh. <laughs> I was returning with my late father from a visit. And when I sighted you, I told my father I have found my wife. Really? <laughs> he was afraid. 
because he felt I was hasty in my decision. He was? Yes. But when I got to know you well, all my fears and doubts disappear. It must be the gods that really sent you to me. Yes, it must have been the gods that sent me to you. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, two days into the marriage, I refused to sleep with you. <laughs> yes, I remember. But it wasn't funny. But I was innocent. I didn't know anything. I was just a child. Your Highness! Your Highness! Your Highness! Abomination has happened, Your Highness. What happened? Am I doing? Your Highness, the priestess. You mean Ujoka? What about her? Your Highness, this is too heavy for me to say. Hey! Calm down. I am your king. Feel free to express yourself. Your Highness. I saw the priestess with some of the maidens and some of our young men right inside our great river committing sacrilege. What? Sacrilege? Igwe, they were fornicating. Hey! Inside our healing river, Igwe. No, I will not accept that. I will not. How can she? How can a priestess? Commit such an abominable act in a river we all reverse so much. What type of princess would do that? I seen a man on my lodge. I took a job with one man. Katie, she deserves banishment. The answer is banishment. I saw her with my two eyes. I saw her. She is not a true princess. I saw her with my two eyes. She should be nailed. Never say where and take you. Punishment. Happy that before punish her, you don't just punish her like that. Punish her. Then punish her. Kosi is a much better priestess. Yes, of course. Compare her with us. Hey, hey, hey. Um, uh huh. You go. As I was saying, Emma, yeah, that was on me. I have bought you, I have bought you. So that piece of land. Yeah, I have bought you. Ah! Oh! What is it? Eh? Look, 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 look. Oh, whoa. My type of priestess is the one that will not condone any form of disrespect from anybody. Not even from you. The king. He got what he deserved. So shall anyone who tries to pass off uncomplimentary remark about me, my girls, or how I choose to live my life. Don't forget, I am Ujuka, the princess of Ukiti, bringer of rain. The bringer of rain, I agree. But he also brought calamity and sickness upon the land. I've had series of disturbing reports of strange and unfathomable sickness befalling my people all of a sudden. Don't even tell me that. The healing river is there to cleanse them of their ailment. What are they waiting for to visit? Visit what river? Is it the one that you have already defiled? A priestess supposed to be a virgin till death. Yes! Like I said, I am Ujuka, the priestess of Ukit, and not the princess of your former goddess, Agajalu. So, I and my followers are free to live our lives the way we please. Ukiti is the one that heals. So if your people are sick, let them go to the river and be cleansed. Instead of running their mouths and complaining about what goes on there. They should stop because it is not their business. Woman, leave me alone. Let me be. Hey, 
aye pe pe ka aye ni eni o o ke ti zukwa na fu ma ka no de ni wora fe ha ara don't tell me you're angry because of what i just told you why won't i out of all the able young men we have in this kingdom she saw no one but you why I wouldn't know and I don't care to know. And I will never leave you for any woman. Obin, I love you. I don't want to lose you. And I love you more and you won't lose me. My love for you is priceless. It's you I love. And nothing can change that. Inigo. But she's dangerous. She is. Oh, it's okay. I know, and that's why I'm avoiding her. Oh. oh. So, the only thing you should be worried about is the pain you will go through having our future baby. Because <laughs> that will happen soonest. So tell me, did you go to hunting today? No, I didn't. I decided to rest and map out time so that we can chill. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to show you something. Really? Yes, follow me. What? Yes, follow me.
Greetings, O oh, great greatness of the Lord. What can I do for you? I was only dazzled by your awesomeness. Greetings again, O oh great Christmas. I understand that you have been making advances at Prince Aiken. I have come to tell you that I'm a better man than him. Take a look at me. And see the hand made of our goddess upon me. I have a manly figure. That depicts the strength of the world. And I am heavenly bound to give you maximum satisfaction. No words can be Oh, great business. want me to do for you? You just have to help me. It's my mother. She's been sick for three days now and she has refused to eat or drink anything. Hmm. Woman. What is your name? Her name is... Allow her to speak for herself. Yes. Hmm. Your mother will be healed, but everything lies in your hands. Please tell me, anything. I'm ready to do anything, okay? This woman has suffered so much, and I just can't watch her die. Stretch forth your hands. With these hands, you will hold her waist and you will make love to her now. No! The gods forbid! You will make love to her before my very eyes. And I said no! She is my mother! Name Gobu! Now let me ask you, why did you even ask me to do such a thing? Do it! Or both of you will die. Then prepare to kill the both of us. Mother, let's get out of here. You devil! You're not a priestess! And you're not even close to one.
Did you say you have not seen your wife and son since yesterday? Yes, your highness. And I have searched for the whole of this kingdom, but couldn't find them. Hi. Did they tell you where they were going? Abu the River, your, your highness. M my wife has been sick for three days now. And my son took her to that river to get her healing. Up till now, your highness, I cannot see them. Did you check with the priestess? I have done that, your highness, but she denied seeing them. Hey, again, this is the height of it, your highness. Eh? How can people who visited that river end up missing? Well, that, that, is, that, that is serious problem. Does it mean that I have lost my wife and son? No, no. You will not lose them. Your highness, things are really getting out of hand. Yes. That priestess needs to be handled. Ikemba. Yes, Your Highness. Go and call Ifatu, the town crier. I want him to sound a warning to the people that Abudu River is no longer safe for anybody. Nobody should go near the river until we know what we are fighting with. Tell you something. What? Even in my next world, I will still love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're my bundle of joy. Mm. The only reason I smile. Mm. I love you more, baby. I love you too. I love you too. <clears throat> okay. Look at what will happen now. Mm? We'll shift this aside. Okay. I will butcher this in Bada so you can prepare some short meal for us. <laughs> Ah, but Obin, this meat is too much now. Why don't you take some home to Mama? Nothing is too much for the love of my life. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you. Uh -huh. uh. I love this. You like it? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Please, please, save us. Please. I warned you, didn't I? I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Now see what you have cost your people. Mother, I must go. What is wrong with you? Do you want to kill me before my time? 
I am the prince and the future king of this kingdom. For that reason, I can't sit back and watch my people perish. What sort of king do you want me to become? A king that listens to his mother. 